I'm the director of senior services, and I think we'll start about 30 seconds early because if there's one thing I've learned in my year of working with older adults is that they're very often early. So I think it would be most fitting for us to start a little early, and I see all my friends giggling in the crowd. So first I'm going to introduce City Administrator Todd Wolf, who's going to say a few words. Thank you, Emily. A few words? You said I could talk for like a half an hour. <laughs> That's what we're used to, right? Right. What a beautiful day, right? It's, it's amazing. We had what kind of snow this morning? It's like 32 degrees right now, and we're standing outside this great event today. And about a, two years ago, in March, nobody would have thought that this would be happening, that we would have had COVID-19, and we would have had the changes that we are standing here in front of today. So I just wanted to kind of talk, talk about a couple of things real quickly, because we're, we want to keep things moving. But as I said, it was two years ago, so we think about March. March seems to be... My name is Ann Kraft, and I'm an interrupter. Thank you, Ann. You're doing a great job. Okay. Can you turn the volume up? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. How's that? <laughs> Thank you. So anyway, back in March, we actually had, obviously, COVID-19 come, come through. Uh, and then in March of 2019, we had a new director of the Senior Center prior to that, right? So we, we saw some changes coming through. We had uh, Vicki Schneider come in, and Wendy was moving on. And then we had COVID, and it was unfortunate because I, I made a lot of people very upset during that time. And many of you are out there right now, and I hope you forgive me. But I had to close the, the Senior Center because of health and safety, right? So basically in... 20, uh, in March of 2020, our senior director actually took, uh, took on a position with the, as the HR director within the city, which was a great thing for the city, but unfortunately it was an unfortunate situation for the senior, for the then called senior center. Then great things happened, a Christmas present as I call it. December 22nd, 2020, Emily comes on board, becomes part of our director for, for the senior center at that time, which is now... Uh, marketed as Uptown Social. Again, the clubhouse, right? So, because of failures with the facility, I actually had to, again, upset a lot of people, and we had to close the senior center at that time, and then we tried to reopen it in 2020, but unfortunately, because of the failure with the roof and leaking and, you know, HVAC and things like that, we had some significant structural problems within it and for health and safety it really didn't mean that we wanted people to go in there and, and have fun on a daily basis so it really meant that we needed to look at it as a city what are we going to do about that so from my perspective i like to look at the demiac so define measure analyze improve and control which is through lean so we looked at it and said well, how do we define the problem we really need a senior center or an uptown social or a clubhouse right then we look at the measure and we measure it. The old facility was old, 14,000, 15,000 square feet. Parking was really, really, you know, bad, right? Can't really expand that, that, that location. So then we looked at analyzing, what options do we have? And then we looked at improving. So how do we improve it? We, the city, purchased this facility using ARPA and HUD dollars. And we obviously are now looking at upwards of 30,000 so that's a huge improvement for us. So again, it gives us that growth for the future. Then we look at control, so pursuing perfection. And that's where we bring in our, our uh, JH um, contractors, and they're going to help us to take it to the next level. Maybe not all at once. I know we'd all really like to see the whole thing done at one time, but it'll be phased, as we've always been saying, phased. But we're going to have some great, great things coming. So... In 2021, new beginnings for our, for our important assets, as I call it, our experienced constituents. So I just want to thank everyone. Yes, I said experienced. <laughs> I just want to thank everyone and thank the council, thank our, our, our uh, government officials that are here, thank our contractors. We're doing so much as quickly as we can. Supply chain doesn't help, but we're really trying to get everybody back in this building where we really want to be. So thank you. Thank you, Administrator Wolf. Next up, um, I'm inviting Mayor Sorensen to say a few words as well. 
Well, th thank you, Emily. Thank you, everybody, for coming out on this wonderful, cold Wisconsin Monday afternoon. Uh, I wouldn't want it any other way with a few flurries coming down, but this is truly an exciting project. We're building a new community center right here in the heart of our community, and I appreciate all the active seniors that we have and the vision moving forward under Emily's leadership um, for, for this organization. The Senior Center is going to be bigger and better than ever. It's going to be offering more services, not only for seniors, but for everybody in this community. So I'm excited uh, to be a part of this journey. Um, new mayor, new administrator, new senior services director. Um, we're moving this community forward. So thank you so much, um, Emily. And I ju just want to do um, some quick recognitions because um, teamwork is always done in a collaborative endeavor. Um, so nobody does this alone. So I want to thank our contractors. Guys, just give a wave for all the hard work and dedication that you're putting on. You guys are the ones in the trenches getting this work done, too. Our DPW crew is kind of sprinkled throughout uh, the crowd here as well. Thanks, DPW, for moving this project forward as well. Um, we have our council members here. We have Council President Barb Feldy. Um, Vice President Roberta Flicky Pineski, Alder Dean Decker, Alder Andre Walton, Alder Grazia Perella. Thank you all uh, on the council for, for your support and making sure that we build this community center moving forward. Um, we have some county board supervisors here. We have Vice Chairman Bob Zigabauer. Bob, just give a wave. Uh, we have Wendy Schobert Schober here. Um, and County Board Supervisor Marilyn Montemayor as well. Um, everyone knows Marilyn. Um, I know we have some friends on the Friends of the Senior Center Board and uh, the, the Friends Board, the Senior Center Commission, just give a wave. And Friends of Uptown Social, just give a wave if you're on any of those boards. So thank you so much. Um, additionally, we have uh, Jen Garner from Senator Baldwin's office here and Chris from Senator, uh, excuse me, Congressman Glenn Grothman. Um, so we appreciate their support as well. Um, some other community partners are here. We have uh, Deidre from the Chamber of Commerce and Brian from the SCEDC. So we appreciate um, the community's involvement on that. Now um, I'm going to call up our friend and state representative Terry Kotsma. Terry has um, a special present to share with everybody today. So, representative. Good afternoon and thank you, Ryan and uh, Emily and Todd. Need some help here. <clears throat> I have a proclamation here from Senator Devin Lemieux and Representative Tyler Vopagel that states, citation from the State Senate, whereas on March 7, 2022, Uptown Social will be breaking ground on a new building for the Senior Center located at 1817 North 8th Street and whereas the original Sheboygan Senior Center first opened in 1970 and was housed in a number of different buildings until the city of Sheboygan purchased this new location for Uptown Social and whereas the new facility will provide a place for the Sheboygan community to engage with one another and stay active through community fitness, recreation, arts and crafts, and other programs, and whereas Uptown Social's mission is to promote wellness, learning, socialization, and recreation for the community, now therefore the members of the Wisconsin State Senate, on motion of Senator Devin Miller and Representatives Terry Kotzma and Tyler Vopago, do hereby congratulate the city of Sheboygan and Uptown Social for their achievement on this groundbreaking for the new community center. Congratulations. Well, thank you, Terry, and thank you, Mayor Sorensen and Administrator Wolf. Um, I will tell you, my feet are freezing, so we will make this very quick, but there are a few more people that I want to thank. Um, well, first, I'll start. So we woke up this morning, and Mayor Sorensen did text me at about 6.30 a.m. and said, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, and I said, my first thought was, we finally got some snow so that our program and wellness coordinator can take our group out snowshoeing today. So congratulations, Josh, on a successful snowshoeing adventure earlier today at, May, at Maywood. 
Uh, but I want to thank everyone for being here. I want to recognize Darren from AARP who made the drive up today. I want to thank my colleague Chad Palachuk, our Director of Planning and Development, because he certainly did a ton of work on this project before I joined the team on um, securing this location and securing the funding for this first round of construction through a CDBG grant loan and working very closely with the team at HUD. So major thanks to them. Um, I'm, and I see lots and lots of our very engaged, active seniors. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I promise everyone that you see up here is trying to make this happen as fast as we can. And our team over here are busting their butts to get you in as soon as they can. And it's so exciting. I got here early and I picked my eyes and I promised them I would not go in the building without prior permission. So I did not break the rules, but I did peek in. And every time I'm here, it's so different. There are walls in there. There are walls in there. They're going to put drywall up soon. It's so exciting. And so I know the wait has been long. I know the wait has been frustrating, but I promise you when we are inside, you're going to you're going to forget all about this tough time in the pandemic and everything going on in the world and not having your clubhouse. And I know I speak for everyone up here when I say how excited we are to deliver uh, the building that Sheboygan's older adults really deserve. And um, I know I speak for everyone here when I say that we're trying to design a facility that will serve this population, not just now, not just next year, but 10, 20, 30 years from now. So thank you everyone for coming. We're going to take a couple quick pictures with some shovels. Thank you to the Friends of Uptown Social. Um, thank you to some of our major donors that are here supporting us. Um, Bader Philanthropies is doing a leading gift of $50,000 to help us with our second phase of construction that's going to be in 2023. Uh, Sheboygan Senior Community and Pine Haven Christian Communities are also here if they want to give a wave. Thank you for supporting this project, and also a big thanks to Kohler Company for leading with a major sponsorship at this venture. We still have lots more money to raise. Um, but we will take some quick pictures, and then I want to invite everyone back over to City Hall. The idea is that this building is very much under construction. It's really ugly, right? It's hard to see what it's going to look like. You know, City Hall was renovated not that long ago, and it is beautiful. So I want everyone to come there, see how lovely it is, eat some cake, drink some hot coffee. I have regular and decaf for folks who can't drink the loaded stuff after a certain hour. I'm looking at my mom, and I want you to come enjoy yourselves at City Hall. We have some pictures of what the space is going to look like over there. So if you want to start making your way over, or if you want to join us for some pictures, I just insist that if anyone wants to hold a shovel, you have to borrow my hard hat. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.